Hello everyone, my name is Hemu and today I am going to start your lab setup series. In this particular lab, lab setup series, we are basically going to basically do multiple type of labs creation, installation in your VMware workstation. And I'm using guys Windows 10 for doing all of my lab, but you can also able to use your Windows 11 if you want to perform or if you want to create a same type of lab, right? So in this particular series, in, in the very first lecture, we are going to discuss how we can do the VMware workstation 16.1.2 Pro installation in your Windows 10 and also in your Windows 11, right? So because installation is same. And after that, because you know, if you want to create a lab, different, different type of labs, like which have your inside interface, your outside interface, your DMZ interface, your HA interface, right? In that case, what you need to do, you have to basically create a NIC, NIC card, NICs, the virtual NIC card or VMware network adapters. How we can do that? So we will see this particular thing as well. Then I will basically do the EVNG installation from scratch. We first we will see how we can download the EVNG images and up how we can basically do the installation, right? Because you know to use this EVNG software, we need Win SCP and there's a one more software called EVNG Client Pack installation. Once this will complete, we will see how to basically install the or how we can import Palo Alto firewall in EVNG. Then how we can basically able to do the routers and switches image import in EVNG. How we can basically import the router or switches images. So here I will basically first import the DIMSYS one, which is the small router images. And we will also upload a VIOS and VIOS L2 images. And these are the, your routers and switches images, which we can use for doing our different, different type of labs. If you are doing like CCNA, CCNP, or any type of labs, and whenever you need router or switches, you can able to basically use these two images. We will also see how we can install Windows and Windows Server, or how we can import these images on EVNG, and after that, how we can basically do the, how we can use these images. How we can basically install the Scaly Linux machine, Ubuntu Linux, Parrot Linux, Tiny Linux image, or how we can import them in EVNG, right? And after that, how we can use them. Checkpoint, 40 gate image import, we will see. We will also see the SDBAN and other image import in EVNG. Then we will see how we can build the lab in EVNG, how to connect EVNG nodes with the internet and other external VMs how to import pre-built lab in EVNG, how to start, stop, and wipe the nodes in EVNG. And we will see what type of different, different type of errors we will get. So I will I will basically build an error and we I will show you how, how we can able to do the solution, right? Once this part will complete, here guys, I will forget to add one more topic, right? What I will do, I will also show you how we can basically do the secure CRT installation in your windows. And after that, how we can basically, how we can integrate that secure CRT with your EVNG. Okay, so that part also I will cover. So I will basically, maybe I will add this point here. Let me just do that for you. So we will not mesh anything. Here we will see the WinSCP installation, EVNG client pack installation, and secure CRT installation. So guys, till 15 lecture, here you will able to see the EVNG related things. And after that, what I will do, I will basically show you how we can in install your Palo Alto image in VMware workstation. How we can basically install your Windows XP image in VMware workstation, your Windows 7 in VMware workstation, your Windows 10 in VMware workstation, your Windows 11 in VMware workstation, your Windows Server 2029 in VMware workstation, your 
Kali Linux machine in installation of Kali Linux machine in VMware. I went to Linux machine in VMware. Your Parrot Linux machine in installation in VMware. How we can install these red, blue, and green servers. These are the very popular servers, and these servers is released by the CVT Nuggets, right? So I will show you the installation of these particular small routers as well, and we can use them as a as a web servers, as a SHS servers and all, okay? And guys, in this particular training, I will show you how we can able to build this type of lab. How we can build this type of lab. And how we can basically able to build this type of lab. Right? And EVNG and also how we can basically build the similar type of lab on your in your VMware environment as well if you don't want to use EVNG, right? Now, to basically start this particular, like to start with this, what we need to do, the very first thing which we have to do, we have to basically install this VMware workstation. This is the first thing which I need to do. I need to install this VMware 16.1.2. Why I have chosen this 16.1.2 because this is the this particular software version you can use on Windows 10 and also in Windows 11 because Windows 11 supports basically VMware versions starting from 16.1 onwards. Okay, so now the very first thing if you want to basically do the installation, you need that software in your system. So guys, if I'll go here, I already have this, that particular software on my system. I have the key as well, and I have the software as well. Now, how you can basically download this particular software. So I will provide you the link of that software in your description, right? And you can able to see here, if you will go here, I will basically give you this particular link and where you will able to see this VMware software. And here you have to download this VMware workstation for 16.1.2 and this file come as a RAR file. So you have to download and after that you have to do the unzip. You can use 7zip or WinRAR software for that. Okay, so now without wasting our time, let's start. So I'm just doing the installation of this VMware workstation software. So what I will do, I'll go here and I'll just double click. Once you will double click, it will ask, do you want to continue or it will give you a prompt yes or no. So you have to click on yes. And as you will see, now it is just preparing that installation, preparing VMware workstation for the installation. So you have to wait here. Now you can see, I'll get this, this message like welcome to VMware Workstation Pro Setup Wizard. In the Setup Wizard, what you have to, you have to click on next. You have to basically accept this user agreement or the VMware end user agreement, like what are the terms and condition. You have to read it. Now you can accept this terms and condition for the license agreement. Now click on next. If you will select this option, enhance keyboard driver, a reboot will be required. For this activity, reboot is needed. So guys, in my case, I'm not going to do that. Okay. Or let me just do that. But what I need to do, I need to reboot my system for this. Okay. So I'm not doing, I'm not going to do this because I don't want to reboot my system. I'll click on add VMware workers and console into my system path. But in your case, you can basically select this option and you have to go ahead with that. Next, check for the updates on a startup. I don't want to check. Join the VMware customer improvement program. I don't want to join this. Otherwise, you will get some unnecessary pop-ups and all, right? So I have just deselected both of these options and I'm clicking on next. Create one desktop icon in your, create one shortcut icon in your desktop and also in a start menu program folder. I want these two things. Next, 
install. Now you can see installation has been started. Installation has been started. So we have to wait here. Meanwhile, let me show you one more thing. This installation is going on. I'll go into performance CPU. And guys, in my case, you can see, because you know to start all these things, you have to basically check the virtualization is enabled in your system or not. What is this virtualization? Virtualization is a technology, right? Or is a technique. It is it just technology or a feature which we need to enable in your system to basically create these particular labs. So you have to basically check this virtualization is enabled or not. And if it is not enabled, what you need to do? Let me just go here. If this option is not enabled, what you need to do? You can go, you can search on internet and you will get a hell lot of websites, right? You can watch this video as well, how to basically enable this virtualization. So what you need to do if you want to enable this virtualization? First of all, you have to go into the BIOS because you know this particular setting, you can only able to enable from the BIOS mode. You have to go into Windows setting, recovery. You have to click on restart now, troubleshoot, advanced option. And then in advanced option, you will able to see UEFI firmware setting, then select restart. This is the one way of going inside your BIOS. But I'll always recommend it, or I highly recommend it, guys. If you are having this Acer laptop, then you can basically, when you will start your system, you can press F2, or you can press your delete button, and it will basically break the normal boot process and it will take you inside the BIOS mode. BIOS is like a similar type of mode like we have in your Cisco routers, like Roman mode. In your Palo Alto, we have a maintenance mode, right? So BIOS is the similar type of mode, which we generally use for if we want to do the recovery, like we want to do the pass for recovery, we want to do the recovery from the corrupted operating system, corrupted file system, right? All these activities we can able to perform. If you have a as a desktop or laptop, you have to press F2. If you have a as a motherboard, then you have to press F2 and delete. For Dell laptop, you have to press F2 or F12. For HP laptop, you have to press escape button or F10. For Lenovo laptop, you have to press F2 or maybe function plus F2. Then Lenovo Desktop F1, Lenovo ThinkPads Enter plus F1, MSI Desktop or Laptop, you have to press Delete button, MSI Motherboard, you have to please press Delete button for Samsung F2, for Sony F1, F2 or F3, for Toshiba F2, right? So these things you can easily get into the internet basically, right? And when you will go here, when you will log in, right, you have to search for this enable virtualization in BIOS for Intel CPU, right? You can able to get these type of prompts here, right? In advanced tab, you can able to see the virtualization option there. And once this is enabled, you can able to check from your CPU. There's a one more article is there. If this is disabled, you can go into your BIOS and you can able to basically from the advanced tab, you will see or you, have, you will see this virtualization and you have to enable it. Okay. This is the thing which you need to do. Now, let me go into this license. Now, from where you will get this license key? This license key I have here. So I'll just copy this license key. And if you will search over the internet, you will get a hell lot of the license keys. Because we are just using this for lab purpose, so we are we can use it easily. Now you can see license part is done. See, I have done the license part. 
and I have successfully completed my VMware workstations. What I have successfully completed the installation of VMware workstation. Now, if I will search VMware workstation pro, I'll click on open. Oh, guys, let me tell you one thing. Whenever you are, let's suppose we just completed the installation, right? So you can search in your search by VMware. You will get this VMware Workstation Pro. Go and click on pin to taskbar. So you can able to see this software here. And the very first time you can open as an administrator. Just for first time only. Now. This is the software which we have installed successfully. And with this thing done, we have completed our first lecture like VMware Workstation 16.1.2 installation in your Windows 10 or Windows 11. These are the steps which you need to follow. Thank you very much guys and please subscribe my YouTube channel. So guys, let me just show you all these particular recordings you will get on my YouTube channel, which is youtube.com slash at the rate hey hyphen videos. And here you can able to see a couple of other videos as well, like on Palo Alto, on AWS, right on your SAML, FortiGate, Python, Panorama, Advanced Tech Troubleshooting. There are a hell lot of videos are there. Okay, so you can subscribe this particular channel. We have another channel, a Skilled Inspirational Academy. You can also subscribe this channel. Here you will get lots of videos on F5. We do have a video portal and this is the portal from where you can able to subscribe for our paid trainings. So this is it guys, take care, bye.